<laughs> an, an encounter before the, uh, the imagined slight at the Dixie track? <laughs> Find out what it's worth to you. What's it worth to you? I have signs. I've taken the first few scripts. I don't know. Not yet. Not yet. But, um, but when, we, when we conceived of the, of the episode where, where uh, we discovered that Sheldon can count cards and we said, well, it's not going to be poker, it's going to be a game like Magic the Gathering. And we imagined a sort of Cincinnati kid kind of character that he would go up yeah. against, and Steve, um, Steve Laro said, you know who's sort of a, kind of a pathetic gaming loser? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't recall, Steve, but those are the words you, but and who actually lives in Pasadena, um, you know, and so, and there's this guy, and so the, the idea was, what if it's, what if it's, well, and I called, well, we spoke on the phone, and, and you, you know, you hemmed and hawed, and if you weren't sure if you wanted to play yourself. It's very, when you ask an actor to play himself, it's very difficult because there's, there's sort of no costume. So then, then um, we, so we decided to do it, and then Chuck had this idea for a direction for the character. So I was now, after having cajoled and begged and encouraged Will to do this, I now was in the position of having to call him up and say, so, okay, so you're playing yourself, but, and I apologize to the young people, you're going to be a dick. <laughs> and I, I'm saying that because that's your motto, is going to be a dick. And, uh, and, uh, and Will was very, very nice uh, in agreeing to do that. It came easy to <laughs> It's surprising. <laughs> I recall feeling really excited about the opportunity to go to play the evil version. I would, ima I would imagine he would return. <laughs> Soft 